A while back, there was a funny thread on Reddit where a guy had started playing PSO for the first time in ages, and he had beaten the game, he went all through Ultimate and everything, and he started to realize that he didn't have any of the rare items that people talk about. And he was wondering if his game maybe glitched or had some anti-piracy act get triggered or something. Why weren't these things in his inventory, he was wondering. Why hasn't he found it? As he was a new PSO player, he wasn't really familiar with just how crazy PSO is when it comes to its drop rates and just how insane these items were originally meant to be to come across. You see, the original design decision of PSO was that all of these ultra rare items were supposed to be just that ultra rare. And these people that found these ultra rare items, well, they were meant to be sort of minor celebrities on the servers and all of that that they were on. So for fun, let's just look at one random item. Let's look at Frozen Shooter, for instance. Frozen Shooter drops from a Hildator. It has a one in two drop from a Hildator. That sounds pretty good, doesn't it? Well, Hildator has a one in 512 chance of spawning. That doesn't sound good, but it's not terrible. Well, until you realize that Hildets, which it spawns from, because it's a rare spawn of a Hildet, well, you're only looking at maybe getting between six and 10 of those per quest for like the first like 10 minutes. So you will just have to keep redoing this quest over and over and over again, 10 minutes at a time, and then 10 minutes at a time, and then 10 minutes at a time, six at a time, six at a time, six at a time. <laughs> Praying to God that one of those Hildats that you are seeing will become a Hilda Tor, Hilda Blue, something like that. <laughs> and then you're praying that that Hilda Blue, Hilda Tor, that then spawns from the Hildat that you were hunting for, he drops the frozen shooter. You are not going to randomly come across this, is what I'm saying. This, this isn't something that you just randomly happen on. Uh, it, that's how the developers were hoping it would happen, where, you know, back in the day, none of us knew the drop rates, none of us knew any of this stuff. You know, it was 2001, we were on GameFAQ, like, this shit, shit was just appearing. Like, we were just like, I killed something and it was here. And we were trying to piece things out. This thing, it was all meant to just be pure random. And like I said, it was, it was just meant to, like, just be a pure rare drop for people. And of course, people then started to figure out what was dropping what, where it was, what to hunt and all these things, the best quests to go for. But back then, these things were purely meant to just be as rare as humanly possible. It's one of the few games that actually used rare weapons and rare gear and all this stuff and kept the gear super rare. You don't see, if you were to go back in time and, and, and hop in servers, you didn't see frozen shooters everywhere until everything was hacked, of course. You didn't see these things. You didn't see having Punisher everywhere. You didn't see um, even Red Handgun. You didn't, you didn't see everybody with these things. You saw one person with maybe one rare, and then maybe another person with maybe two, and then maybe someone just had normal gear. And then, then you run into someone else who's got like a rare launcher. That's kind of how it worked. And it was really, it was really interesting because the people that did find the rare gear, even if it wasn't the gear that they wanted, they liked it and because it, it made you unique. It made you feel good. It made you feel special. Um, and then, of course, everyone then started going onto the hunts and then sort of the rare gear sort of proliferated through everything and that sort of became the main hunt for the game. But that first few years, the, the gear sort of, like I said, it turned people into celebrities. So if you are playing PSO in 2023 right now, and it's your first time going through and you've played through the entire thing and you realize you don't have Frozen Shooter, you don't have Yasmin Kov 9000M, you don't have the guns that you hear about. Yeah, that's kind of how it was designed. That was the purpose. These guns were supposed to be for the rarest of rare, the, the most random of random drops that just some random guy in Belgium got one day or something over here. And then sort of the myth sort of went and spread around about the gun. And that's how it was. It was kind of magical in a way. <laughs> um, it wasn't like MMOs of now or games of now where loot is just for everybody. Uh, the, these drops were rare, hard to find, hard to locate, hard to figure out what you're even supposed to do. And that's how it was designed. So if you are doing this nowadays, there are, of course, hunt guides and everything out there to tell you how to do it and the best way to do it. But at the end of the day, even going for like Yasmin Call of 9000M, even going for Frozen Shooter, even going for some of these not really crazy rare drops are still going to take you tens of hours, maybe. So that should put things into perspective that even with our modern 
technology and modern strategies and modern playstyles and modern quests even on Afinia that didn't exist back then to sort of help people get these rare gear. Just think about that and think about how crazy it was back then to try and get all of this stuff. So I'm glad to see that people are still playing PSO in the year 2023. I'm glad to see that this community is still going. Um, just giving you a perspective on how things were back in the day, um, back uh, in my youth when I played on the Dreamcast, um, where we were just exchanging. If you had a rare item, it was like guild card, guild card, guild, we got to keep playing. Da, da, da. Yeah, it was it was a unique and special thing that Sega tried to do by making this gear be that rare and that unique. And I kind of miss it. And I'm, I'm happy that people are starting to sort of realize the, the sort of design that went into PSO. Um, kind of funny that when you see people say, I've just played PSO and I've beaten the game so many times. I'm beating Ultimate. I don't have any rare gear, though. And it's like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's how about that? <laughs> so if you watch this video, maybe post some of your fun rare hunts. I just completed Yasmin Cobb 9000M on uh, Ephenia. It took me two weeks. Took me two weeks of doing episode two content, uh, killing the um, Crimson Assassins over and over and over and over and over again for two weeks on Twitch. Did it. I'm glad I did. <laughs> Am I glad I'm did? I don't know. Probably it was. It was something. So um, we had a lot of people on Twitch. Uh, a lot of people. We had like 20 plus people watching us, so which is good. So if you have any hunt stories, be sure to share them below. I'd love to. Revel in your pain, just like the pain that I just went through to get the Yasminkov uh, machine gun, uh, which I don't even use. <laughs> I still just use Frozen Shooter, so, uh, oh well. So, be sure to like, follow, subscribe, all that, and I'll catch you guys probably talking about PSO again in the future. So, later.